Welcome back to the video, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Hamilton, and today we're going to be going through all of our normal Monday stuff, right? That's the on-chain, which is looking super, super bullish, okay? For the past, uh, I would say for the past few weeks slash months, the on-chain has been looking dead. It's been looking weak. It's been looking bearish, uh, but now it is turning around, so stick around for that uh, after the news. Be sure to like the video, and now let's jump straight into it. Breaking news! In today's segment, we've got two entertaining stories to tickle your crypto funny bone. We'll look at Bitcoin traders bracing for fat tails as they turn their focus to Trump's Nashville conference, and the almost comically high 80 million bet on Biden's Democratic chances, even though he's already stepped down. Stay tuned to find out what these developments mean for the crypto market. Our first story takes us to the wild world of Bitcoin trading, where traders are bracing for fat tails as they shift their attention to Donald Trump's upcoming conference in Nashville. Now, before you start thinking this is something to do with an overindulgent diet, let me clarify. Fat tails refer to those extreme price movements that can leave traders sweating bullets. With Trump known for his unpredictable Stability, Bitcoin traders are preparing for a roller coaster ride. If history is any indicator, we could see Bitcoin prices swinging wildly as traders react to whatever bombshells Trump drops. So hold on to your hats and maybe keep a stress ball handy when you're trading. Now let's talk about the betting bonanza over at Polymarket, where bettors have put nearly 80 million on President Biden's chances with the Democrats. And the kicker, Biden has already stepped down, putting tweets out and a letter telling everyone that he is no longer in the race. For the crypto market, this means we're likely to see some interesting fluctuations as political enthusiasts place their bets and traders react to the ever-changing odds. That's all for today's news, guys. Stay tuned for more updates and insights. Be sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And now it's back to you, TA Hamilton, for some trading updates and some macro on-chain updates. All right, people, the bull market is back on. Let me just show you some of this stuff here. We're going to talk about some on-chain, then we're going to talk about some TA, and then we're going to talk about the trades we are looking for here uh, in the Bitcoin markets. Let's start with energy value, right? This calculates the general energy value for Bitcoin. Uh, if you don't know what this means, it doesn't really matter if you know what it means, okay? Because what, uh, what we really want to look at here is when we get over this line, right? When we get over this line, boom, parabolic, boom, we just go straight to the moon every single time, okay? So what we're looking for for here right now is to get over 78,300. If we can do that, then Bitcoin just skyrockets, okay? I am literally so sure of this. If this doesn't happen, it's going to be very surprising, okay? Uh, I will be banging in serious, serious money here uh, when this thing happens, okay? But as of right now, uh, looking a lot more bullish across the board. This, this is currently rising right now, which is good. But when Bitcoin overtakes it, that's when we see uh, that just ridiculous parabolic curve, okay? Uh, the next thing, super ridiculously bullish across the board here we can see we do have our first green expansion tick here on the caproli macro index right what this means is super bullish okay you could blindly long this right now if you really want to but i wouldn't advise it just yet <laughs> but uh yeah you can you can bet i bought a little bit here just based on this green beautiful thing obviously lots of things are happening in the world but lots of things are always happening in the world right so if we're looking at the data here when this does go green it is good okay it's very 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 good uh, and we can see that uh, just based on the data looking uh, at this thing so uh yeah finally green again we've had a basically neutral pullback for the past few months but it's looking a lot like this thing is just going to absolutely bang it very very soon okay so that um was taken yesterday okay 20, uh, 21st of july uh, and that is uh yeah 60 68k that that happened okay so uh yeah roughly where we are right now what are we at now seven uh, 67 three bit of a pullback here but uh yeah having this green is fantastic it's a huge huge bullish sign for bitcoin and you should be very very excited across the board here okay uh what else have we got here i have one more thing to show you where is this thing where is the thing? Ah, uh, yeah, hash ribbons. Okay, so hash rate, uh, this is essentially just uh, looking for when miners are selling. And we're seeing hash rate actually uh, get closer and closer to crossing here, right? You can see these, these two lines. When these two lines cross, we get a bullish... Um, buy signal, okay? You can't get really get a bearish buy signal, but <laughs> a bullish buy signal here coming through when these when these cross. We'll get to this in a minute uh, when we do head over to the charts. Besides that, if we look at the ETFs, come on, mate. There we go, beautiful stuff. We have seen um, on, on uh, Friday, I believe, yeah, 19th, we can see that, uh, yeah, 383 million 
inflows uh, on the Bitcoin ETFs. This essentially means that institutions are banging it in as well. So everyone is bullish right now. Institutions are bullish. Retail is bullish. Everything is bullish. Okay. Uh, and again, we are literally, I'm not going to count it here, but we've had so many bullish days in a row here for institutions. Um, typically, we might see some outflows if we get some bad news from the politics side of things, guys. But uh, as of right now, I just realized I've still got my uh, AI eye contact on. Sorry if that was confusing. <laughs> we turn that off now. Okay. Uh, yes, uh, just production tricks here for the news so I can read, right? <laughs> but uh, yeah, we can see, we can see, uh, yeah, 383 million is massive. Okay, so that's good stuff. We are seeing that greed uh, come up as well. It was greedier yesterday. It was greedier yesterday. You you uh, retail, you're a bit greedier yesterday, but... Uh, Today, yeah, slightly less greedy, but greedy nonetheless. And this typically is a sign that we should be expecting a pullback. But we can be, um, we can have this much greed like f for weeks on end in some cases, right? So just be aware of this. Uh, but uh, yeah, to see two green days in a row is fantastic. Okay, it's fantastic. If we are looking at the general scope of the Bitcoin markets, a bit of a pullback from yesterday. We obviously had a pump over the weekend. Uh, and yeah, you can see these 24 hours, just kind of a mixture of red and green. A little bit more red than green, I would say, on this pullback, obviously. But uh, um, yeah, overall, things are looking pretty bullish out here. Okay, uh, before we do move on to the TA, uh, we did put a signal out here this morning. This is completely free. Okay, you just follow my Patreon. It's in the description in the link tree. Okay, uh, and you can see here, yeah, a free trade. We just put that in a little one minute video of the trades I'm looking for today. So again, we'll get to this in a minute. But yeah, a little 1% short. And uh, if we do start banging it towards the upside, we have a nice 1% long, long as well. But we'll get into that in a minute. All right, if you do want this free update in, on weekdays, guys, a little one minute two minute video that I put out to you guys uh, and again completely free to join all you got to do is uh, just follow my Patreon so make a little account with your Google right press follow and then you're good to go uh, if you do want to take it a step further we do three other signals okay we're on a massive streak here with these signals uh, right now uh, for this so if you if you are interested in that feel free it's 10 bucks a month if not absolutely fine enjoy the free content okay uh, let's jump into this I don't even have my trading view on this is incredible this is incredible production value I got too wrapped up in the news <laughs> So yeah, the trade we're looking for here right now, as you guys know, right, uh, if you if you are on the Patreon for free, then uh, yeah, we can see here that we're looking for initially a break of this smaller structure on the four hour. Okay, we're currently testing it right now. Uh, I would just go as far to say if we break 66.8 here, uh, I would be expecting a dump down uh, to at least <coughs> at least 1%, if not the price action channel. We also have, uh, if I do just get rid of these, these moving averages real quick, we also have the four hour volume weighted ATR band here. So uh, if we are looking for signs that this is gonna turn around and pull back, and we talked about the CME close, we'll talk about this in a minute, right? Um, where is this bad boy? Yeah, these the CME gap, sorry, uh, that we're looking at here. Uh, I know this, this chart is super messy. Let me just clean this up a little bit. There we go. Yeah, so we'll talk about this in a minute. But uh, yeah, one sign that we do get down there is if we lose this four hour volume weighted ATR band. Okay, there is a trade on the way there, of course. But um, yeah, what we're looking for here really in any kind of bearish edge scenario is to lose this bad boy. Because if we lose this four hour volume weighted ATR band, we get massive, massive moves. Uh, and I know this looks super convoluted, but these are liquidation levels. So uh, yeah, what we can see here, if we, if we are looking at this, we can see this four hour volume weighted ATR band when we did get over it and then we lost it. At that point, we fell off a cliff, right? Uh, and we can go back and just see more and more data of this. Okay, another, another example of the four hour, boom. I just wanna double check this is the four hour. Is it the four hour? No, that's the 60 minute. <laughs> <laughs> it's a 60 minute. Uh, this is the four hour, the pale line. So the, the, this is exactly the same, right? So it's the same. We lost it. Okay. We fall off a cliff. So this is the six, this is the four hour here. Okay. Uh, and the last bull run, as you can see, <clears throat> We lost it here and then boom, fell off a cliff as well. So really, really important in the middle of a bull run. Yes, we do still fall off a cliff as you can see here uh, when we did lose this one. And these look like tiny trades, but if we do just uh, come down here, we can see, yeah, well, I guess I guess it is a bit smaller of a trade there. But uh, yeah, 2% there, you can't go wrong. One, 2% trades, so that's really what you should be aiming for, guys. A minimum trade should probably be like 0.8%, depending on your VIP level and the volume you put into exchanges, okay? Uh, and yeah. Um, yeah, just more examples of that happening there, okay, uh, and here as well. So uh, yeah, that's essentially what we're looking for here in the middle of this kind of area, all right? So uh, if we do just get rid of this real quick, just to kind of summarize that one more time, if we lose this four hour volume weighted ATR band, there is a massive trade here down to potentially not just 60 to eight, which will be initial, probably initial take profit here uh, for the 60 minute volume weighted ATR band, lower band, okay, we love to bounce off of that thing. Um, so uh, yeah, th this is a fantastic trade if we can find it. Uh, 
Uh, and then if we lose that 60 minute, then uh, yeah, we'll be looking to get back to that uh, back to that uh, CME gap here at 60K, which still has not been filled, okay? So we can see that um, very, very far away. Huge, huge trade if it does come through. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we've got like 4% trade there. And then as we talked about losing this four hour down to that point as well. So yeah, two, two, three percent trades here that we can find uh, that will be really, really nice on the short term uh, if we do want to crash down here. I know uh, some people are already short right now. I know my brother is. And uh, yeah, I think that's applicable. It's justifiable. Okay, if you want to go short here, absolutely fine. But uh, just be aware that the on-chain, the macro is bullish. So we should be expecting explosive growth towards the upside. All-time high challenges very, very soon. Uh, I do think when we hit 70k, we'll get a massive pullback. So uh, yeah, just be aware of that as well. There will be a long trade that we can find here as well if we do get over the 60 minute and the 15 minute volume weighted ATR bands towards the upper side. Okay, uh, these trades uh, historically are pretty good in terms of uptrends, as you can see here. But uh, sometimes, occasionally, when we when we <coughs> when we are oh, sorry, I've just eaten some cashew and nuts. They're they're all stuck in my throat. <laughs> <laughs> but um, occasionally, yeah, once we do lose them and we retest them, just be aware uh, that they can be uh, quite trappy and rejecty. Rejecty, that's a word. Uh, but yeah, just be aware of that. We have kind of trapped on this already. So I think next time we hit this, I think it's quite a likely chance we can find a 1% trade towards the upside fairly easy. Okay, I think it will be quite aggressive. Uh, just watch that 70K area because I do believe when we hit it that we do get a pretty strong pullback and that could be the initiation back to 60K even. So uh, yeah, we want to be aware of that as well. Uh, and it's not, it's not about being super bullish or super bearish guys here in this market. I've been doing this a long time. Uh, the, the key point here is identifying edges like this. And then as the market behaves, as, as the market goes in directions and news comes out and trends change, it's reacting to that uh, and foreseeing as many possibilities that have high win percentage as possible. Okay. And that is exactly what we've done here with these three trades and potentially this trade as well. Well, that's essentially the same trade, right? But um, the, the broader scope here, if we do surface above 70k here above into this area then uh, that's actually a great sign for bitcoin it means that we're challenging our all-time highs it means that we can absolutely bang it very very soon and as we talked about here uh, with with uh where is this thing gone where is it gone yeah with the with this thing right with this thing, uh, when we do get over that 78K level, super, super bullish, okay? So that's really the, the area we're aiming for for the next major investment here. I didn't actually talk about liquidation heat maps here. So if we do bring this up, we can see lots of liquidations down here, like hundreds of millions, which is crazy. I've not seen it this thick, this thick boy in, in so long, okay? I've never seen, well, I've, I've seen this before. I've been watching too much Trump. <laughs> I've never seen it. Nobody's ever seen it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I I've not seen this in a while. Okay, guys, so uh, this could be a target for the market makers if they want to bring it down. But if institutions are buying this up, 300 million a pop every day, then uh, yeah, there is going to be that supply crunch. Uh, and yeah, it will just drive prices up with the demand, right? So uh, yeah, just be aware of that. Be aware of that coming through. I do just want to bring your attention to hash ribbons one more time. When we do have uh, two very, very uh, red areas like this, as you can see, uh, and then we do start recovering. It's usually a great bullish sign here. So I think even potentially over the next week or this week, next week, uh, we could see these cross towards the upside very, very easily. And when they do, that's a massive long signal. So uh, yeah, just be aware this could just get, this could get seriously aggressive towards the upside. I really do just want to be, uh, I really want you to be aware of that, right? You don't want to miss this. Uh, if you do miss a move and it's like one or 2%, absolutely fine. Don't chase the trade. Okay. It's absolutely fine. Don't bother. Okay. When we do enter that bullish stance again, we do get over that 80K level or 78K, 80K level, right? Um, then what we want to be doing here, guys, the ultimate strategy for Bitcoin is very, very simple. Okay. When we make a high, okay. When we make a high, we'll usually do some kind of Thing like this, right? What we do after that is look for this trend line to break and then we go for the next wave. That's essentially all you do. Okay, that's essentially all you do when we are super parabolic and bullish. I can show you this. Oh, hello. Yeah, I can show you this very, very simply uh, in the last run. Okay, same thing here. Okay, beautiful stuff, massive uptrend off of that. You don't wanna be trying to get in here and then sweating, right? It's okay if you miss a, a little move, it's okay, don't worry. <laughs> okay, same thing here, okay, boom, around 20K, easy, easy money to be made there when we do break those kind of levels. So that's essentially what we're gonna be looking for over the long term when this does come into fruition, uh, even, in, uh, even in these smaller runs, okay? 
Obviously, this is a little bit different, but um, you could make the same argument here based on that, all right? And even based on this, right? So there are trades to be had here. Just make sure you find the entry. And if you miss the entry, relax. Do not, do not get too uh, anxious about it because you will lose Okay, you will lose in the blunt, bluntest way possible. You can see I've put this in uh, from previous videos, but yeah, a very, very strong edge there if when we do enter that massive bullish momentous market, okay? I do actually, I haven't actually been paying attention to this, uh, but I wanna see where we are in conjunction with the bull market barrier, this little gummy worm here. Obviously, when we're above it, bull market, below it, bear market. Uh, and currently, we are inside of it okay and that usually means that uh yeah i mean it can get very very volatile but if we can surface above this area we talked about this like uh, months ago guys when we started coming down okay we said once we get above this trend line again and we get above the bull market barrier because of this etf stuff because of all the institutions and the supply crunch and everything that's going on and now with the the trump stuff right uh, what we can do here is essentially target to get over that and then boom, bang one in, okay? Bang one in, uh, obviously we wanna surface above uh, 70K, 72K, that kind of area. I'm just really looking for all-time highs just to be safe, and then we're gonna bang a 10% trade in, okay? Once we hit that uh, high point of the 10%, when we uh, finish off this measure move, essentially towards the upside, then uh, we'll be looking for uh, essentially what I just talked about, right? So uh, a high to be made, lower highs to be made, and then diagonal trend line to be broken before another entry into a longer term swing trade, okay? That's what we're looking for here. Fantastic stuff coming through. I hope you're having a fantastic day out there. It's a brand new week, okay? I do just wanna say, guys, um, over the past six months, um, ah, do I wanna say this? No, I had some bad news over the past, uh, early on this year. It's been a pretty rough year for me. I've lost some friends, okay? Uh, and I did get, like, I did get, um, fairly addicted to marijuana, right? I do just want to say this just transparently. Uh, so my upload schedule hasn't been great. Okay, I quit this three weeks ago. I've been dealing with the withdrawals. Uh, and yes, I'm feeling a lot better. My brain feels a lot more switched on. I'm back to, I'm back to like a 100% kind of brain functionality, which I'm really happy with. And I, I just want to be transparent with you guys on how that's been. If you have been a little bit um, weirded out by the content or if you have been a little bit like, um, why isn't he uploading? Why isn't he putting the, uh, the signals in? It's because of that, okay? Okay. Uh, and in my head at the time, it was it was a little bit like um, it was like okay, whatever. Uh, I'm I'm fine. I can deal with it. I'll just smoke weed all the time, right? But now it's it's kind of uh, it's hit me like wow. My brain was acting at like 30% capacity, and I was trading on kind of autopilot. I'm still making money, okay? I'm still making money. Like it was it's fine. But <laughs> but uh, yeah, for me it's like okay, it's it's time to switch on. It's time to grow the channel. It's trying. To, it's time to really take advantage of this bull market. It's just uh, it happened at such a crazy time for me. But yeah, fighting through it. Thank you for all the support as well, guys. Okay, I have been kind of transparent with this in my Telegram in terms of the news anyway. Not um not the, the addiction <laughs> but um yeah i mean i'm i'm over it now three weeks in i'm feeling good okay it's time to go okay it's time to go so uh yeah feel free to follow us on all the communities discord all of this good stuff uh and uh thank you for all the support guys it's been really really uh, helpful and it's been it's, it's been good right you, you guys have really helped me i didn't ever see when i started this channel uh, this this kind of uh, comfort coming from an audience so yeah fantastic stuff really appreciate you guys um if you if you want to check out prime xbt as well guys little, little plug at the end feel free uh, they are sponsoring the channel at the moment so uh, yeah that's in the description and i'll get a video out for that uh, probably later today if you want to check that out anyway a really cool exchange actually they do uh, they do a lot of different um, assets including nasdaq and stuff like that uh, and yeah, really, really cool. They do free trading contests as well, where they give away a grand to you guys. So uh, yeah, just, just something I thought uh, genuinely that some of you guys might like. If you are a little bit strapped for cash, then that's a way to get started in trading, right? Uh, so yeah, that's going to be it for me. Have a fantastic one. I will see you guys in the next video. And again, thank you very much for being part of me on this journey. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for me. Enough rambling. Be sure to like, subscribe, all that stuff. Bye.